Hello everyone, it is Jen. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. So today's video is going to be my unboxing for the Boxy Lux for the month of Mar March. Yes, March. We are in March. Okay. Um, so I did open this because um, I got it about a week ago and I've just been super, super busy and I have not had a chance to record and unbox it for you guys. So um, I had to peek because I'm just really not that patient when, yeah, I'm just, I, yeah, I just, I'm not that patient. So I had to open it. Um, so Boxy Lux is every three months. It is $29.99 in addition to your $25, um, <clears throat> to the, the base box. I think it ends up being around $49.99, I believe. Um, and you get that every three months. And there is supposed to be uh, $250 worth of products inside this box. So this box is shaped a little bit differently this month. It is a lot um, more of a uh, rectangular shape than it usually is. All right. So let's go ahead, open her up and see what we get. All right, so as usual, you have your card that you get. Um, the theme for this month is pretty edgy. And then on the back here, you've got a list of all of your products and their prices, as well as the variation that you got. So my variation is number 12. Oh, oh you can see that number 12 um there were at least 48 variations this month um because i know i watched uh, just ann's unbox hers and i believe she got like variation 48 or something so yeah there was at least 40 different variations this month which that's a lot that's a lot of box to charm okay um so we're going to start with the very first thing that i see which is the um tart Tardiest Pro Remix Amazonian Clay Palette. Um, and this is, let's see, what do you retail for? You retail for $49. So, um, Tarte Shadows, if you've watched my channel before, um, they're a hit, hit and miss for me. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Um, I love the packaging on this. So this is what it looks like. It is a fairly heavy duty package, so it doesn't feel super, super cheap. And then when you open it up, you've got your nice and big mirror here. And then these, oh, I guess I can take that off. These are the shades. So, so they are really pretty. Um, they kind of smell like chocolate, just a little bit. Um, all right, so I will do some swatches. I do think, so when I opened it the first time, it looked like maybe it had been swatched previously, but I think it um, ended up just being the way um, the Tarte's name was stamped in to the shadows. Um, but I have not used this yet, but it is really, really, really pretty. So we've got this blue shimmer shade here, which is super, super pretty. And then we've got this gold shimmer shade here. And then this is like a champagne pink shimmer shade which actually i think would work really well as a highlight and then we've got this purple shimmer shade there so um and then let me see if i can i'll swatch some of the mattes matte shades for you so you can see what those look like which are their only Are there only three matte shades in here? Hmm. Okay. 
Apparently there are only three. Ooh. So that didn't swatch the best. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. It could just be that I, I'm absolutely terrible at swatching. So, okay. So $49.99 or $49 is what we got for that. That is the first thing. Okay, so next we have um we have this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum and Coco Cabana Cream Duo. So it says that this retails for $15. I, I'm assuming that that is the two together and not individually for these, these Barbie doll size containers. Um, this stuff I love. I love this stuff. Um, I actually have oh, two um, full size containers of it. And then I do have a small container, this same size that I do keep in my purse. So um, I... I'm excited to have another one of these. I absolutely love that stuff. This one is okay, but I'm not fond of the smell. Smell. Well, that looks like it's about half empty. Um, but yeah, I am not a huge fan of the smell. Oh, well, of this one. Um, the consistency is a little bit different than... Um, the bum bum cream or boom boom i i have no idea how you pronounce that guys um but so this is more of like a gel consistency i guess but to me it smells like popcorn like caramel popcorn i don't know i just i'm not a huge fan of that one so those retail for 15 dollars um like i said i'm assuming that is going to be for the set and then we have BoxyCharm made their own palettes. So uh, this is what it looks like. It says, Hello Charmer. And then it's got BoxyCharm's um, logo on the front. <clears throat> and then you open it up and you do have this mirror here. And then these here are the shades. Um... I did start to record this video earlier and um, I got this far and realized uh, I did not turn my camera on. So these I did swatch. <laughs> um, I, I was actually surprised. I'm not even going to lie. I was surprised at um, the way these swatched. I was not quite expecting them to swatch and be as pigmented and pretty as they are. I mean, that's, that's, that's metallic. That's very, very shimmery. Um, and then you've got some matte shades here. I'll swatch. Okay, so those are the matte shades. So I'm actually really excited to use this and give this a try and see how um, it actually performs. Um, so this is $39. So um, I will definitely let you know how, how that works. Um, I'll do a tutorial and a review on it as well. Um, okay, the next thing that we have is from PMD Beauty. This is the Smart Facial Cleansing Device. So, okay, if I, okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes packaged like this. You take it out. Um, it does come with a battery. And then this is what it looks like. So it is actually, it's pretty light. So and then you've just got your button here that you would push. And then these are the bristles. So the thing that's different on these ones is these are actually silicone bristles, which I did not know. Um, but yeah, these are silicone bristles. And then on this side here, it is supposed to be a um, anti-aging facial massage. So is what you're supposed to use this side for. So um this baby is a hundred dollars, which 
that's a lot of money. That's a whole that 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 that's a whole lot of money, guys. Um, so yeah, it is a hundred dollars. I have not used it yet, um, but I will definitely, definitely give it a try. Um, I don't know if they come in different colors, but I got mine in pink, which is my favorite color. So, um, I was excited for that, uh, or I'm excited to give that a try. All right. The next thing that we have is from NARS and this is the very first and only thing I think I own from NARS, um, mostly because they're, 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 they're pretty expensive um for a lot of their stuff so this is a um this is a lip pigment a power matte lip pigment which i'm guessing is like a liquid lipstick liquid lipstick i guess um this is what the packaging looks like so i do actually like the package and the color is perfect because it is red, and we all know that I absolutely don't tip this upside down. So it is definitely very um, kind of on the liquidy side. Okay, so that is the shade, which um, I'm actually excited to try. What in the world is on my face? Okay, I'm sorry. I saw something on the camera that was on my face. I don't know what it was, but it was bugging me. Okay, so um, this is, how much are you? You are $25, which is definitely not on the cheap side for a liquid lip, but um, I love the color, so I will definitely be giving that a try. All right, next we have, this is from Elizabeth Ma, and this is a Show Me Your Cheeks, and this is a blush. It is a, it's a single pan blush, so this is what it looks like, um, and then you've got that. It is... It's pink, but it is very, very subtle. It definitely um, takes a bit for it to actually really, really, really show up, which could be a good thing. So it's buildable. It does look like it's kind of got um, a shimmer to it, which I don't typically like my blushes to have a shimmer to them, but I'll give it a try, and then sometimes they work really good as um, eyeshadows as well. So, um, this is $23, which, I, there, no, there's absolutely no way I would spend $23 on this. Nah. No, 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 no. Okay. Next, we have, I love these things. I love these things. Okay. Okay. So these, it is a spun gel, and this one is in Freesia Pear, and it's a body wash infused buffer sponge. Um, you can get these um, through FabFitFun for their, their add-ons for fairly cheap. So this one smells really good, and this is what they look like. So what I do with mine is, because they are reusable, I actually will cut them in half or sometimes even into fours, um, and I will just use each piece individually. Um, to me, they last a lot longer that way, um, and you get a lot more, a lot more uses out of it. So um, <clears throat> I really, really like these. And this one is the sixteen dollars, which is about average for the full the full price for some for these there are some that are a little bit cheaper and then there are some that are a little bit more expensive um so very excited to have this my daughter is not getting this one okay the next last thing that we have and this is from appeal cosmetics and this is a gel uh 
lip liner. Oh, lip or eye. Oh, oh. Whoops. Hold on one second. Let me go grab that. Okay, got it. Um, so this is a lip liner, or you can use it on your eyes, I guess. Um, I do like the shade of it. I'll go ahead and swatch it. Let's see. I'm going to swatch it right. There we go. Right there for you. So I do, I am just like dropping stuff all over the place today, guys. Um, I do like the shade. It so and it, it definitely went on it creamy, so I do like that. Okay, so and that is $21 for that. Oh, that was expensive. I have gotten, I think, um a eye eyeliner or a lip liner, I think, from Appeal Cosmetics before, and I was not a big fan of it. Um but that one doesn't, this one doesn't seem too terribly bad. So I'll definitely give it a try. So our grand total for everything that we received in this box is, let's see, we got the, um, <clears throat> we got the Tarte palette for 49 And then we've got the Sol de Janeiro duo um, little, uh, travel size lotions here for 15 which I'm assuming that is for the two of them. Um, we've got the um, a Boxy Charm palette, which is 39 And then we've got the PMD Beauty Smart Facial Cleansing Tool, which is $99. And then we've got the NARS uh, Lipstick, which is $25. And then the, uh, the blush, which is uh, $23, which I would still never spend $23 on that. And then we've got the, um, wherever it went, the, oh, found it. the sponge gel here, which is, um, what I say? What did I say? $16. Yes, $16. And then we have the Appeal Cosmetics Lip Liner, for $21. So all together, um, it is a total of $287. So um, the value is over the $250 that they um, guarantee you with the Boxy Lux. It is not quite as high as the last Boxy Lux um, was that we all got. Um, this one, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of. It's definitely not like my most favorite boxy lux that I've ever gotten. Um, but it's, you got, I got my, my money's worth for the $50 that I paid for the box. So, um, it's all right. Um, but yeah, that's it everything that I have for you. Um, I will do a, a review video of um, the products that I got in this box as well as a tutorial using the um, BoxyCharm uh, eyeshadow palette. So thank you so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.